there and welcome to the Marley Bird YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to teach you an easy beginner shell stitch pattern that you can then take and create a blanket or a cowl or a scarf or literally just about anything you want. This is a very relaxing stitch pattern, a great one to jump into once you know how to do a single crochet and a double crochet. And if you use a long color changing yarn, you don't even have to change colors. Take a look down here and you can see a beautiful blanket that I have already made up. And the shell stitches are all done with the same color of yarn. And you might be saying to yourself, wait Marley, it's obvious that this is not the same color of yarn, but I'm telling you, it is. I used an ombre yarn and with ombre yarns you can see that the color of the yarn changes throughout the skein and you can use an ombre that has many different colors or all the same color in different shades just like I did here with the nice sort of apricot orange color and then we have this one over here this one is uh, some shades of blue going on I mean seriously it's so much fun now with this yarn, like I said, the ombre effect happens throughout the skein of yarn. So as you are working on your project, the colors naturally transition from one to the next. And when you start a new skein of yarn, you just have to be careful that you're starting in a good place on the next skein so that the transition looks seamless. On my little blanket here, I began with sort of the lighter peach shade and then it transitioned to the white and then it goes to peach, then it goes to the dark. And then you can see I transitioned then back to the light, fold it over, peach dark, and then I ended with the light. The way I did this blanket, I don't need an edging on it either. It looks beautiful and my edges are very clean and crisp. For this video, I will be following along with the instructions for this easy beginner shell stitch blanket. The link to the instructions is in the video description box right down there below. And while you're down there, don't forget to smash that like button as my kids say. Once you have that free pattern, go ahead and grab a ball of yarn and a hook that works with that size yarn. And I can show you how to work up this great stitch pattern. Oh. I'm so excited. I love working the shell stitch pattern. I think it is so relaxing. You want to start off with a slip knot on your hook and you will chain a multiple of six plus two. For this video, I'm going to do 20 chains, but you can do as many chains as you want for the project you're going to make or follow along with the pattern for the blanket that we will be working off of. Now for this first row, you can work into the chain however you wish, although I'm going to recommend rotating the chain upside down so you're looking at the back bumps of the chains and I want you to work into those bumps to make the bottom edge cleaner and that way we don't have to add a border. We're going to go into the second chain from the hook so it's the second bump and we will place a single crochet. Then we will skip two chain and in the third one we will place five double crochet and this is the stitch pattern repeat guys the skip two chains and in the next chain do five double crochet so there's one and two and three and four and five Once you have all five double crochets into that chain, you have created a shell stitch pattern. And that's what you will continue to create throughout the entire piece. After you've completed the five doubles, you skip two chains and in the next chain, you will work a single crochet. And that is the stitch pattern repeat. So then you go back to star, which has you skip two chains and in the next chain, do five double crochets. One. Oops. 
two. Three. Four. And five. And then we will skip two chains. So skip one, skip two. And in the next one, we will place a single crochet. And you repeat that all the way down your chains until you get to the very end. And at the very end down there, we'll place a single. So here we go. I have one more repeat. Skip two chains. In the next one, we'll do five double crochets. So there's one. Two, three, four, and five. And take your time with these. This is going to take a while to complete all of your stitches along this row. And then we skip two chains, and in the last one, we will do a single crochet. Now we do a single crochet in that very last one. Okay, so our first row looks a little something like this, and you can see the shells have already started. That little fuzz does not want to go away. These shells have already begun. Now, on row two, we will do a half shell here and a half shell here, and a full shell in between the, this, these two and these two. So it'll fill in the blank there and fill in the blank there. If you're using a long color changing yarn or a variegated yarn, or you're just using one color, you do not have to change colors at this point. But for me, I'm gonna change colors to make it easier for you to see how the stitches are made. This will be so much easier for you guys to see. So I have a blue color getting ready to work row two, and we start off with a chain three. And this chain three is going to count as a double crochet. So when I turn my work here, I am going to take a second and grab a stitch marker and place it into that chain right behind the loop on my hook so I know that that is the last stitch of the row when I come back down to it. Marking that third chain is not mandatory, but it makes it easier for you to find that stitch when you are down at the end of the row looking for it. Now we continue on and we will work two double crochets into this single crochet right there from row one. So we'll do two double crochets. This counts as a total of three double crochets made because this initial chain three counts as a double. Now we will continue on. We skip two double crochets and in the following one, we do a single. Skip two double crochets and in the single crochet there, we will place five doubles or our shell. So one, two, three, four, and five. Skip two double crochets and in the next double crochet do a single. Skip two double crochets in the single crochet do five doubles or your shell. Skip two double crochets, in the next one do your single, and you would repeat that all the way down the row until you get down here to the end, and you would skip two double crochets, and where this last single is, you would place three double crochets, or it's a half of a shell. So one, oh, let's do that again, and two, and three. I'm gonna set this down. You can see here just what I was saying. I have a shell, a shell, a shell from row one, half a shell, half a shell, and then two full shells in between those. Pretty simple stuff, right? Let's go ahead and move on to row three. Again, I have changed colors to make it easier for you to see on camera, so I have this nice orange color happening. And we start off row three with a chain one and turn. And we are not going to count this chain as a stitch, 
but we will be placing a single crochet right here in the very first single crochet. And that is our first stitch of the row. Now we continue on. This is very similar to how we did row one. We skip two, two stitches and in the single crochet, we will do five double crochet. Skip two stitches in the next one, we'll do a single crochet. Skip two stitches in the next single, do five double crochet. Pretty simple, right? I mean, the only difference between row two and row three is the way you begin and end. Everything in the middle is just the same. Whenever you get to those single crochets, you will be placing five double crochets into them. And when you get to these shells, you're placing a single crochet essentially right there in the center of the shell from the previous row. So you skip two and you do a single. Simple stuff. Skip two, we have a single here, so we'll do a shell. And then you skip two and we'll end with a single crochet right here into that marked chain from before. All right, so we began and ended row three with singles and we have three full shells in between. You see how that works up? I told you this shell stitch pattern is very easy. Now, as a bonus to you, I want to share with you how I keep my edges really nice and straight and make it so that I don't need a border at the edge of my blanket when I do this stitch pattern. When I was making this easy shell baby blanket, I did not like the way the chain threes looked at the start of my row two. So instead of doing chain threes, I did what are called stacked double crochets. They make it so that my edge is nice and clean and absolutely straight, and I do not need a border on my blanket whatsoever. It is absolutely perfect. I wanna show you how you can substitute the stacked double crochets for those chain threes as well. I've worked up a swatch and I've just finished row three. I'm getting ready to begin repeating row two. And this is where I would normally chain three. But instead of chaining three, I'm going to turn my work and I'm not gonna chain at all. I'm gonna insert my hook into that first single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and draw through two. Can you see that I have a strand right here and a strand right here? I wanna take my hook and I'm going to pierce this stitch right between those two strands, just like that, okay? And I'm going to create another single crochet. So I'm gonna take my hook, I'm gonna go right between those two strands and go into them, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, and draw through two. I've essentially made two single crochets, one on top of each other, and they are the same height as a double crochet, and they look like a double crochet, much more so than three chains do. You can see at the side here, it looks like I have a V there and a V there. I would take my marker and put it into that second V, because that would be the top of my stitch if you wanna keep it marked so you know where the last stitch of your row is. And then you would just carry on with the pattern, which would be placing two double crochets into that first single crochet. And then we skip two doubles, put a single into the next one. Skip two doubles, place five double crochet into the next single. This is just like all the ones before. It's really lovely how row two and row three are very much the same once you get past the beginning and before you get to the very end. 
So I'm gonna get my five double crochet here, which will make up my shell. Skip two, single crochet in the next. Skip two, five double crochet in that next single crochet. Need to get some yarn here. So there's one, two, oops, three, four, and five. Skip two, single crochet in the next. Skip two, three double crochet in that last single crochet. It's one, and two, and three. Now we're gonna take a look at this. I'm gonna set this down, and you can really see how the start of this row looks identical to the end of the row because of that stacked double crochet. And when I bring in the first swatch we did, see how those chain threes right there, those are my chain threes, they look different than the double crochet that I finished with down here, okay? If you wanna see it, like this is how this would be, this is how this is sitting. Here are the chain threes, this was my uh, stacked double. Here is my double crochet and there's my double crochet. Do you have to use a stacked double crochet when doing a shell stitch pattern? Absolutely not. This is just one of those little extra finishing techniques that you can add to your crocheter's toolbox and pull it out whenever you want. You absolutely can create a beautiful item with the chain three as the double crochet if that's what you wish. But for the blanket that I made, I did use the stacked double crochet so that it created a beautiful side edge so I didn't have to add a border. Go ahead and grab yourself some beautiful ombre yarn so you don't have to change colors or add any sort of mess to your shell stitch pattern and create something beautiful for yourself. I'm Marley Bird. This is the Marley Bird YouTube channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you have given it a thumbs up. If you like videos like this, go ahead and hit subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I release a new video to help you become a better crocheter or knitter. I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye. Thanks so much for joining me on the Marley Bird YouTube channel. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit subscribe. I put a link right over there, or you can watch a couple of the videos I've already selected for you right down there. If you want to follow me on social media, I've put my links right over there. You can have all Marley all the time. Bye guys.